Welcome to Balai Kalipay or House of Joy. Here we seek to bring out the joy that only a deep connection with nature and art can bring. After finding peace in my heart and in my life, I built Balay Kalinao, my home. I now move on to Balay Kalipay with the help of friends as we seek to chronicle Mindanao art and its artists. As you enter the main driveway, the first artwork that greets you is the huge monument Peace Under the Crescent Sky, the artist's ultimate dream for all mankind. In this giant word Kalipay, you would see three huge heads of sculptures depicting the tribe people of Mindanao. You would see a Muslim, an indigenous person, and a Christian. But here, the eyes are hallowed, so we would encourage the visitors to go inside the head of the sculpture so they could see through the eyes of your neighbor. The main structure is a place for gathering, to encourage discussions and sharing with living spaces like bedrooms, kitchens, and dining area to take away distractions from the flow of ideas and inspirations. Balay Kalipay is the second of a trilogy of root, flower, and fruit, following nature's natural progression. So here, we show the flowering stage, the beauty of Mindanao art and artists. The main facade is a huge waling-waling interpreted by the artist. In the middle of each flower are sculptures of children carrying the symbols of the elements, the sun, the moon, the stars, the trees, and the earth. Right at the entrance hall, you are welcomed by Agi Pagkatipunan's 30-foot long table. This is designed to share our wealth of knowledge and experience in art while breaking bread, having dinner, and sharing food. This is probably the longest table in Mindanao. Right beside it is the heaviest door ever, which opens to the piece of pie hall, the centerpiece in the 2017 Manila Art in SM Aura. Piece of pie is a thought form that is anchored on the hope and depicting how we can work hard to make sure that every Mindanaoan gets an equitable share of Mindanao's bounty. Here in this um, big durian canopy, uh, it's like when you dine here or when you, when you have breakfast here, you are like the fruit. This is where you, you get to acknowledge your yourself as being ripe and ready to share your talent to the world. Having had your breakfast, you are invited to look at the opposite side, the giant Philippine eagle canopy. It is meant for you to see the world from the eyes of an eagle, seeing beyond, changing perspectives higher, wider, and wiser. The dining area features a collaborative mural that symbolizes a waterfall. Dining with thoughts and prayers that all tables will be filled with food. Here is my recent work that I installed it in, in Balay Kalipay, the passion and compassion. In the word passion, you would see the image of the mind, but it's not enough. So I added the word compassion, it has the image of the heart. Uh, with both combined, we can now fully share our gift. The newest installation is Adapai, a fireplace for visitors to gather at night for fellowship. Surrounding it are huge fire-inspired sculptures I titled Kalayu, or fire, expressing out fueled passion within to come out. The Haring Aguila Amphitheater features cubist sculptures of women. The biggest set are called sky dancers, as they dance to mimic eagles. At the stage will soon be the Happy Christ Chapel, 
Its facade, designed to host performances in warm and loving gratitude to the greatest artist of all, our God and Creator. The other structure that is under construction now is the proposed Museum of Modern Art in Mindanao. This is envisioned to house Mindanao's long history alongside its myths, stories, legends, and music starting from the Ice Age, if possible. Through gathering all this in one place, we allow visitors and Mindanaoans alike to get a fuller grasp of who we are as a people and make art as a wonderful experiential vehicle in digging our collective core. A visitor then brings home with him a clearer idea on how we can move forward to a better future. I am Kublai Milian and I thank you for joining me in this journey.